He spent more than 100 days or three months in space. Retired NASA astronaut Garrett Reisman was aboard Space Shuttle Endeavour, Discovery, and Atlantis. He has completed three spacewalks. What is it like to spacewalk at 17,500 miles per hour? Well, guess what? Garrett is back with us to tell us what in the world <laughs> is that like? It's kind of nuts. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing. You're out there and you're doing your work and you look down and you see Seattle. And then about, uh, you know, about 10 minutes later, you look down and like, oh, there's New York. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's something really surreal. Uh, going back and forth between like things that are familiar, like the work site and your suit, and then you look over your shoulder, see the entire East Coast of the United States, and you're like, well, that's just crazy. I mean, how does that change your perspective on life, on us, on humanity, on all that stuff? So th there are a lot of astronauts that talk about this overview effect. They said they go up into space and they see a world at peace without borders and that, you know, they realize that we're all living in the same home. And, and my reaction to that was I never really felt that a change or a shift because I, I knew that before I went. I think it should be self-evident that <laughs> we are all human beings. Mm -hmm. The things that separate us, whether that be race or gender or nationality, is much less important than the fact that we're all here on one planet together, breathing the same atmosphere, the same air. Uh, you shouldn't have to strap into a rocket and blast off and look at the Earth to know that. Mm -hmm. I think you should just should be obvious but there's so and there's so much cooperation up there and you think about now yeah. I'm sure you worked a lot with with Russians oh, up yeah. there and now there's sort of a fight about whether they're gonna continue in that capacity working with the US right yes they've, they've been they've been threatening to back out of the ISS for a long time so it's kind of hard to take it too seriously but um, but yeah obviously we're in a very different po uh, position right now geopolitically than we were when I was flying on the space station and I had part Russian partners Russian cosmonauts that I was working with and we had minor, uh, you know, frictions to deal with and, and politics, but nothing like what they're dealing with today. And what's it like to acclimate, A, once you're in space and then when you return to Earth? When you go up, it, it's, your body goes through all these crazy changes, okay? Like all the fluid that's in your legs goes up into your head. Your Ooh. face gets all puffy. If you see this picture of me, you can kind of see I'm kind of swollen up. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and, and it feels like, it feels like you're upside down, like all the blood rushing to your head. I remember waking up my very first night in space, and I thought, why am I sleeping while doing a headstand? You know, I'm upside yeah. down. Then I saw the earth out the window. I'm like, oh, that's right. I'm in space. I forgot. They, wow. they told oh, me this right. was going to happen. Yeah. And your takeaway from, I mean, when we see these pictures and we look down at earth, it's stunning. And your reaction? Meh. You know, <laughs> I mean, it looks like that. It looks like the pictures that you see uh, yeah. and the video that you've seen. Um, and, uh, and so I was a little underwhelmed. But when I, when it was actually much more impressive was when I looked at the horizon and I could see with my own eyes just how thin the atmosphere was. And that actually was terrifying because it looks so incredibly fragile. It looks like a gust of wind could come by and just strip that away. And so you've been busy since, since all that. You've done work with SpaceX. Mm -hmm. Years ago, you toured me around the, the Dragon capsule, which yeah. was one of my favorite things. You're working now at USC, Fight On, mm -hmm. for all of us uh, USC uh, alums. Yeah. It's great to have you. Yeah, two, two. two, two. Uh, and, then, <laughs> and, and you're also a consultant on an, an Apple show called For All Mankind on Apple TV+. Plus. Uh, helping do the movie thing, tell them what's real, what's not real. I mean, you've gone Hollywood, man. What's I that, know, what's that I know. like? I've lived here long enough. I yeah. have a podcast. I was the yeah. last person in LA that didn't have their own podcast. Yeah. So I got that now. Yeah, no, you have, you, you know, um, it's a lot of fun. I guess when I stepped down from my full time job at SpaceX, I had enough room to do three other full time jobs. And now <laughs> I'm doing all those other things. But it's, it's really fun. I'm doing stuff that I really enjoy. I love teaching it at SC. The students there are great. Uh, I love working on the TV show because it's just so much fun doing all kinds of the Hollywood stuff. And, and so I'm, I'm just having a good time. And, and your uh, Twitter handle is worth sharing, Astro underscore G underscore dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dog two Gs, right? Yeah, two yeah, Gs. Two Gs. Two Gs. Two Gs. Two Gs. Yeah. Yeah. What, a, what a great conversation. Thank you so much for uh, shining a light on space and ha being in the studio with us tonight. Yeah, my pleasure. Super fun hanging out with you. Yeah, and we'll have to talk to you because Artemis yeah. can be up there for a little bit, so maybe we yeah. can have you back and talk more about what we see. That'd Thanks so much.